Has being at home all the time made you start to rethink your interior design? Well, if you have a little extra time on your hands and just a few easy to find supplies, you can start transforming your space one piece of DIY furniture at a time. Regan Duval is a contractor with Jans Corporation and she's here to show us how to make the frame for a stool that creates the base for an endless number of interior design styles. I'm so excited. I am too. You know, I love a good DIY project and you're making it really easy to do with very limited amount of tools. And yes. what we're creating here, I've got a couple options I'm gonna show that I kind of was thinking of too for how to kind of finish it off, but endless, endless choices. So let's get started just with you explaining to me how we're gonna put this together. All right, so basically, I, yeah, go ahead and open it up. Open what it. we're going to make today is either a stool or magazine rack or like you said, clothes dryer, whatever you want. Yeah. It's a simple frame and then you add fabric or canvas to the top to stop it from opening. So maybe you want it really tall for a sitting stool, really low for an ottoman. And we were um, even just talking, like this is one thing I'm gonna, I was kind of talking, thinking of, this is a table runner I already had. So it's a no sew option. Yeah. So you can kind of show how this would work is you would just tuck it through the slats. Like yeah. this on both sides. And then that kind of determines how far it opens. So whatever And this is like, you know, a, a very easy no sew option would just be to put something like a table runner through. And then you could even like pin it or probably just somehow attach it, right? So yeah. however big you want it, Easy? Yes, easy. yeah, absolutely. Super easy to modify. If you wanted uh, something a little heftier, you could use uh, bigger materials. But for this one, it's just one by twos. It's two eight foot sticks of one by two inch material, which is very inexpensive, like a couple bucks a stick. And then you can totally modify it to what you want. If you want it to be wider or narrower or longer, uh, you can kind of play with it there, but um, all you really need to make sure is that your uh, your inside piece is just small enough to fit inside your, your other frame like this. So I saved a couple steps to kind of show you guys uh, how we got there. And for this project, I wanted it to be something anyone could do. So uh, inexpensive tools, not an $800 miter saw. I bought- Not the miter saw I used last yes, time, right? Yes, not that you couldn't do it, because you totally did it. Um, but I got just a regular old hand saw, and then this little box here, it's a plastic box, you can find them at most hardware stores, they're like five bucks, and it has different angled slots in it, so you can make different types of cuts. And it sort of makes it a guide so that you're getting yes. something straight. So that you don't get all over the place, but um, first thing we got to do is get our pieces cut down to size, and I kind of already marked some of these out because I'm making the exact same thing I made before. And we'll provide the measurements on our website. So if you want to make this exact one that Regan's showing us, we'll have those measurements on there too. But like she, like you said, you could totally do this any size you want. Oh yeah, it's I mean it's pretty limitless. I think my house is going to be covered in stools and magazine racks by the end <laughs> of the pandemic. I'm so excited. So okay, hand saw. You can do that. You can afford it. This is like ten dollars. Ten dollars total. Right okay. Yes. And like I said, I designed it so this one can fit just inside this one. Um, we, of course, need some bracing so it's not all floppy side to side. Um, for, for this part, typically you might need a friend to help you. So hopefully there's somebody in your life that's not social distancing from you. That <laughs> yeah, can, some, maybe can a help you family member part. that lives with you. Yes, but I'm going to go ahead and kind of see if I can get a screw started here. Now, would you pre are you pre-drilling any of these holes or just going I right did. in? I did. I drilled a pilot hole. Um, mostly, so I just didn't do that. Yeah, <laughs> it is hard on your own. Hole, um, for this one, and then for some of the like the bolts that you see where those wing nuts are, that'll actually be its completely own, um, uh, completely own separate hole that we'll need for the bolt to get through there. Okay, so all you need for this project while you're kind of fixing that is you need your two pieces of wood. You need. A, a saw. hand saw yep. and a box to help you would be Correct. really preferable. Yep. And then your basic drill basic with, drill. with yep. some screws and then a bolt. Yes. Okay. And I used wing nuts. Um, you could just use a regular nut too, but the wing nuts make it a little easier. Like if you, if it starts to loosen up over time, you can use those to tighten it up, snug it up pretty easily. Yeah. I think even I could do this. These you tools, could do this. 
So I'm just getting kind of wait. a lesson as I go, but. I watch until the screw just starts to poke through the lumber, so that way I know where to put my, my brace, right? Oh, that's right? a really good So trip. I measure it out, but you don't always screw in completely straight. Right, um, so then you know. Yeah, exactly. And so then you kind of know. While well, um, you're putting that other one in, I'll kind of, so I brought, so this was the easy one I had that was just a um, table runner I already had. But look, you could also make it a magazine rack. We, we figured that out today, right? It'd be fun. You can make it a magazine rack instead of a stool. The other options I thought might be kind of fun. Now, this one was totally no so. I had just a scrap of leather from a different furniture project I did. So something like this, this might, might not be the exact same size, but having the leather on here that you could kind of just put around and use a couple of um, brads or kind of screws into that would be easy. Or even snaps so that it's something that's interchangeable, oh, I that's think, would be fun. that's a good idea. And then I also think if you can sew, something like a canvas would be really good. But one thing that I'm going to do with this is show you how to make it a boho stool with macrame. We knew we wouldn't have time to do all the macrame today, so I'm going to save it as a project. But this is really trendy right now, and all you're doing is taking, like, a rope or a cord and making knots. And you can do this really easy kind of boho stool right on this frame. So I'm excited about that. Yeah. Yeah, so there's a couple options. Okay, so you've got that yeah, kind of put together. Yeah, I got together. them screwed in after my big struggle. Um, now I kind of pre-marked holes where I want the, the bolts to go. And you could change this too. Maybe you don't like where that one's hinging. Uh, you can kind of make that up. I just pick out a bit that's just slightly bigger, or almost the same size as my bolt, so it's not rattling around too much in and there. And then just make the hole. Yep. And then you can kind of double check. Maybe you don't quite know, but make sure your bolt's going to fit before you drill all of them. Um, and then you can make it a little bigger. You can always size up. You can't size down. Always so. size up, not down. So, yeah. and then all you're going to do, we're about out of time, but you're just going to end up putting these pieces together. And then yep. you pick out your top. So I yeah. think this was a great, easy project. Absolutely. It could be super easy way to add yeah. to any of your decor. Yes. We'll put all the instructions and the measurements and everything that Regan used to make this online.